Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Ruto had promised governors that they are going to get money soon. And they were going to, they said they have already signed the money and it's going to come down to the counties. So people are waiting for the trickle down to see money coming to the county so that they can continue serving the people. But the Kakamega governor, Fernandez Baraza, Fernandez Baraza is a certified uh, uh, certified accountant, FCPA, <laughs> and by the way, he's uh, leading the is it economic the economic advice of the council of governors because of his level of education. To some member economics is the most educated among the current governors we are having in this country. So he advised in that manner, and this is what he said yesterday. We are going to have a complete shutdown and this means the collapse of all essential services delivery. All workers of the county will be sent home until such a time when we have money. This statement is sad news. You should be sad and you have a reason to be sad. Na kama wewe bado huja huzunika na huja kasirika, ungoje tu asira utaiona ita, ikikuja. Kuna sababu nyingi sana za nafao kasirike kusikia jambo kama hili. We are just in a big mess. This government is collecting taxes from the first day they took over power. They have money. But the question is, why is Ruto holding to their money rather than giving money to county government so that they can run day-to-day -day activities of counties? Why is Ruto determined to kill devolution in this country? The only way to kill devolution is just by one thing, denying them funds, period. Most of the functions that were in national government were devolved. You're talking about healthcare. Healthcare is devolved fully. Agriculture is devolved. Many operations that were being run by the national government were devolved to county governments. <laughs> the other day, uh, my mom called me. She went to hospital, upper Mbale, Mbale Viga County Fire Hospital. So she was to go for a checkup. But when she went there, she found it, the hospital is shut down. There are no doctors, no health workers. Where to go? You can imagine that is the status of the county government. When the government says that the when the governor said that the counties are going to be shut down complete, it means there have been a partial shutdown. It means some functionals, some functions have not been operational on the ground. Kuna kazengele ya zifaniki kwa county government. Kwa mfano mambo ya health imekuwa jeopardized. Haifaniki. So inamanisha Matibabu saizi wezi pata kwa county government Kwa sababu Wa huduma Wa afya wako mgomo Mgomo yuko kwa nini? Mishara Mishara yao inakuja through County disbursement funds That William Ruto Has refused to give to county governments That is the state of counties Diyo mana nika kwambia Lazima utakisikia, you will feel it, na kina, yani ni kama kina tulamba. <laughs> That's where we are now. Complete shutdown means that ata watoto wachekechea wata pata elimu. Right now, it means watoto wadogo uko chini, wako under county government. Yoni nalipa walimu wa county au wanyo wanafuza huko watu wa dogo hao. Wanaitaji hizo classes hizo huko chini. Wanaita na mna gani? PP1, PP2, PP3. Njyo wende grade 1. So wanda watoto wetu wanyo kwa baby, PP1, PP2. Njyo wende grade 1. 
masomo yao pia itasimamishwa complete shutdown hapo ndo tunaelekea sasa huyu ndo president walisema ni president ya hasala wafanyakazi hawalipi ushahara eh hey, anko ana collect ushuru hiyo ushuru inaenda wapi if you are looking for the real devil who did not want county government to run the devil of county government is the government of william samuel ruto yeye mwenyewe akiongoza the enemy of governance in this country it is william ruto Anwar Guru must resign if she's not ready to deal with the William Samuel Ruto as the way he should be dealt with. Inafa ayenda achukue kitabu ya Nanoko aisome vizuri. He will see how Nanoko was dealing with Uhuru Kenyatta. Ayenda achukue kitabu ya ya former governor Kakamega of Paranya aisome ajue bila atakuwa na deal na government. Ayenda achukue ile kitabu ya in fact sasa the right person na kabisa ni Isaac Ruto the former Bomet governor who had worked for Serikali but he stood in defense of county government and in request not request demand of county disbursement fund paka wala kaanza kumuliza hiyo pesa ni ya mama yako lakini kama anawai anwai guru atakuwa anakuja kuambeleza William Ruto it will never work they have even to start staging demonstration against this government Waambie wananchi kwa county government. Sasa sasa haziko. Na mkiendelea kunyamaza mtaumia, mtakufa kwa sababu mtapata hata matibabu. They should mobilize people from every county to lead mass action against Ruto. That the time Ruto will give money. If not, it will never happen. Anwar Guru must wake up from slumber. If not, governors should come lead another meeting and eject anwai guru put another person there ni mambo ya kuongea kama unabembeleza ruto kisema mheshimiwa rais akuna mambo ya mheshimiwa rais ruto hata kuwa mheshimiwa kama haishimu mahitaji ya county government kama hata haishimu huduma wa government county government if you are not paying count staff unahitaji ya mheshimiwa you are not honorable you are not excellent you are not you will be excellent you will be honorable utakuwa umeheshimiwa kama wewe unalipa wafanyakazi mishahara heshima wa hudumu kama kama wanafanya kazi but as long as you don't pay them hakuna heshima wewe uko nayo hii habari inafaa ifikie rutu ndio watu wa kuheshimu waenda kwa hospitali wapate madawa ya kwamba national government ilipata pesa they was trickle down ilikuja kwa county government kuna huduma inaendelea sasa watakuheshimu lakini kama watu watakufa kwa sababu walienda kwa hospitali wakakosa huduma na ikakuwa tu ni vifo hakuna kitu ya kuheshimu mtu kama Ruto Ilo nalifikia hii serikali so hapa ndo tuko this is the state of the nation and the state of the county government walikuwa wanasema kwamba eh, Ruto atakuja yeye ndiye alikuwa na run the previous government atiru uhuru alikuwa na lewa ruto ndiye alikuwa na run the government now you can see the truth you can understand who was really running the previous government uhuru was on the steering with his two hands today we have william ruto the complete failure now we can see ruto want to kill devolution so that he will be a powerful president with all money on top there so that all the money will be at the executive he will be deciding where to take the development where to give money and the governors want to be reduced to beggars who will be kneeling down on their knees to ask for money to run county government anataka akoe yeye ako na pesa huko huko chini watu wakoe wanamuinamia ndio wapate maendeleo he want to kill the revolution so that he will be life president he start changing constitution of kenya to become president kama moi aongana miaka ingine sijui 20 ama 30 ndio atoke hiyo ndo malenga ko nayo this way we are if you are looking for defend of the revolution 
it should have, it should have never been William Ruto because he was against evolution. The right person was Raila and Mother Karua. And who told us? Hasla Tawana. Hasla Uyu Hasla Mayana Tawana. Uyu ni Hasla wa wapi huyu Hasla Uyu. Mwenye wezi peyanda pesa kwa kawa tuta Haslas in the county areas will be served. Sasa hapo ndio tuko. This is the state of the county government. Hakuna mishahara. He don't care. Ata county government sikiacha kazi. Operation is kifungwa. Hana shida. As long as he's running the national government. He ya naongeza budget zake ziko juu. He's flying out of the country every day. Big budgets. Hospitality. He ya natumika kwa hii serikali yote. Yuko juu. He's asking for supplementary budget kwa ofisi yake. Na hakuna pesa ya kurani county government. He's buying members of parliament. Hake na kanini kega ata maskarende here and there. Sabina chege wa kijita hawa ndio biongozi wa jubili. Because he's paying them huge money using our taxpayers. But he cannot give money to county government. He wants to buy members of parliament to go and pass that 16% VAT. So that he can come and suffocate us. But he cannot give money to county government to run activities in our counties. That's where we are. This is a big shame. Ruto must just pack and go.